This is what happened on the last sneaker video. I mean, it was a cool video. You guys should check it out. Okay, we're here, we made it. And today we have the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green. These will be releasing on June 15th at 8 a.m. And they're gonna be $215. I mean, that's just kind of what it is at this point. I mean, we got Jordan 1's pretty much at 200, summer 180, I mean, it's just the price, everything's up, everything's up, everything's expensive, but this pair, it is fire. And as long as I've been doing these reviews, I've learned that no matter what our country or even the world for that matter is going through, people are still gonna buy these damn sneakers. Maybe not this pair, but they're still gonna buy Jordans and just sneakers, period. And I'm saying all this because I felt like I just reviewed a Jordan that looks like, what was that? Not the military blues, the industrial blues, and it's a beautiful sneaker. I do like the industrials better than these oxidized, but these oxidized are really, really nice. Like, I don't know what it is with green, I just been getting sent a lot of green sneakers and that's okay. And I do like how they threw some little green sprinkles on the box. That was pretty cool. It matches the midsole and I'll, I'll get into that here in a minute. But let's take a closer look at these. And I know a lot of the Jordan 4 people I've been talking to, they're like, yo, these are a must cop. I'm gonna predict that they will probably sell out one. It's a Jordan 4. It's not a crazy looking Jordan 4. It's not like a woman's only release. It's very plain looking up and it's just an all around solid sneaker. And I think Jordan brand is actually, they finally learned that green looks good on their sneakers. They, they haven't done this for a while. Like the green, I used to have those green, the all white with the green crowns, like back in 2007 or eight. And I love them. I just hate that these shoes get so dirty. And I think that's why they like oxidize the midsole, as you can see right here. And it, it just, it works. It, it does work. Like we're in the age of they're aging all the sneakers mostly. And I can tell they're doing that for good reason. One for style and that vintage look, but it does kind of save the shoe. Like the color sale, it hides dirt well. And the shoe doesn't look ruined once it's sale. Like it took Nike 25 years to figure this out because of course the shoes had to age naturally over time. But it's something that I see them throwing on all types of sneakers, not just Jordan 1s. That's a very good insole right now. These are very comfortable sneakers. And let me see. Yep, it's Dream Cell. And I've also been seeing this consistently put in all the latest Jordan 4s. They were in the Industrial Blues. It's in this pair. And I think I say this pretty much every time I do a Jordan video. They need to put this type of insole in all of their sneakers. All of them. Most retros to these standards these days are not the most comfortable shoes, especially fours. But this insole is really helping. But look at the details of this oxidized green, which to me looks like the forest green that they use with the Jordan 14. You guys remember those? Anybody like 14s? No? Oh well, I do. And here's the four I was talking about. These are old school. And both of these have nothing on the SB4, in my opinion. I think this is the best Jordan 4 probably ever released. And there's also that, what's that other green one, that Wahlburger? 
Do you guys like these? I, I really don't like these. Let me know in the comments if you genuinely like this sneaker. Maybe there's some Boston fans out there, especially now with them probably going to win a title that like these, but I don't know. But I really do think they did an awesome job on these oxidizers here in hand. There's really nothing you can mess up on these. The only thing that sucks is just they just get dirty so easily. And this is the new style toe box I always talk about, which I just love. If they keep making the toe box slim like this, and notice the really nice tumble leather. They make the slim toe box and they put in the Duracell, not Duracell, what are those things? Dry cell, I forgot the name of it. Those cell insoles that I love. If they do those two things, the Jordan 4s will be great forever. Got the little widow's peak on these, but you guys, you guys let me know. Are you going for the oxidized 4s? I think they look amazing on feet. I mean, it's a Jordan 4. I, I, th this year I discovered that I do like the Jordan 3 over the 4 but I still think the four has more going on. Like you can do a little bit more with the four. I just like the classicness in, of the three. And I really do like the little speckles they put in the paint. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's the little things that matter with sneakers, I, I promise you. Whoa, what was that? A little Matrix red lady dress glitch there. But make sure that you follow me on IG. Basically people, fall oh, I'm not done yet, hold on. <laughs> the black light, let's black light these real quick. And I do this to see if the factory's screwing up. Like, are they overusing the glue? Are they leaving the leading lines on the sneaker that they use to line up the shoe and sew it together? Um, throw a black light across these, you could pick out some of those imperfections if, they're, if you're that nitpicky. I don't really care about that stuff, I just kind of do it for you guys. I mean, it is a detailed video. But like I was saying before, make sure you follow me on Instagram. People like to hit me up and say, hey, what's up with this shoe? Or what do you think about this shoe? Or where can I get this shoe? Go ahead and hit me up there for that. And even though I have this pair in hand, it's a beautiful pair, I probably will still, I probably won't. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to try to hit on these. I like. This is what I usually do. First of all, I'm sleep on Saturdays when they're doing the whole sneaker app thing. And I go on there about an hour later just to check if things are still in so stock. Damn, I can't even talk. S things are still in sock. And I kind of throw a pair in a cart and just see how they're going. Then I go look at other websites to see, like, on Dick's Sporting Goods, do they have them? Do they have them on Finish Line, Foot Locker? But I mainly check sneakers app to see if they, how fast they are selling. But that's it, guys. I will check you later. It, it, if I could give this a monetary rating as a sneaker, uh, I'd give it an 8. You know, I love the Jordan 4. I've been loving the shoe my whole life love the colorway i just i'm just so beat up and tired of like sneakers as a whole i mean they keep sending them i'm gonna keep reviewing them but it's like i'm at the point where i can't wear all these damn sneakers so at the end of the day i just wear like a yeezy slide or a croc <laughs> you know what i'm saying but peace love and light guys i will catch you on the next one hope you enjoyed the video get some rest and happy father's day to all the fathers out there you know we work real hard and our holidays kind of downplayed but um peace love and light one <laughs>